Hello and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Here on the channel, we are staring at the beautiful Aurora Borealis over the Needle Drift Zone here on the expansion with those uh, that festival lights going on down there. So we are here to do a little bit of a challenge that was actually issued to me on Instagram by H22 Prelude 2K. He goes, I challenge you to take the Volvo Iron Knight and drift it on Needle Climb Drift Zone in Horizon 4. My best score uphill is 201k and my best downhill is 209. Think you can beat me? Well, challenge accepted, dude. And I actually, after that, he sent me another message and a video saying that his new highest downhill is actually 223k now in the Iron Knight. So we are here. We're on the top of the Needle Drift Zone. Those bright headlights are for that Iron Knight. That is chilling right there. I've drifted this thing before, but I've never tried to do points drifting with it. So we're going to try to do points drifting on the full wheel here today and see if we can't beat him. We're going to go up and down a couple times, third person and first person with that drift camera, and see if we can't beat this man's challenge. Definitely super excited to give this a shot. Um, we are going to be using the full Fanatec, 900 degrees of rotation. And uh, let's uh, get... Uh, Get our little wheel cam ready to go. Put my mouse up there out of the way. And uh, we're good to go. So we're going to go try this. Not sure how this is going to work out. Oh, fail. We're good. I had to turn off my controller. So we're not, not sure how this is going to go. Definitely been a minute since I've been on Horizon 4. And this thing without an angle kit or anything is uh, definitely uh, going to be interesting. But we're just going to send it and uh, see how this goes. Hopefully we can do this challenge a little justice. And already the lack of steering angle is uh, kind of messing with me. i got to pull myself down and get back to the original feels of drifting without an angle kit using a lot more brake oh man so not as easy as it looks and I don't think I'm gonna get it on this first run down but uh oh my it does not want to slide I put a spoiler on it recently to try to help with uh, some rear grip issues that I had last time I believe I was driving this car and yeah I don't think we're gonna get it on this first downhill but we will give this a couple more tries. I am not sure how this man got that score, but then again, this was just the first try, and I haven't been on Horizon 4 in a while. I've been on 7. So, give me maybe a run or two to get back into the swing of it. And we should be up there, hopefully, in the 200k marker with this Iron Knight. It just doesn't want to pull back. I feel like I could probably use the E-brake to pull that back some, but it's gonna let it go. Oh, it's a big girl. And uh, it just doesn't want to slide how I need it to yet. But like I said, first time back on the mountain. And uh, first attempt down is a 178, right, so close, but not close enough. My top score on this is 460, but that was with, I believe, my Evo. So uh, we're going to go up uphill again. So I'm thinking of fourth. Then we're going to surprise switch up into first person. Left foot brake is going to be my friend. Daylight is a coming. Hold that. Don't lose that. Oh, there we go. Oh, game. F mm. Horizon. Horizon, you jerk. Don't fail me. Why? This thing just does. Once you stall this thing, it just does not want to go. 
of course could be the gear and everything I have set up on it but uh that little horizon glitch kind of screwed me up I felt we were on a very good tear in the beginning section of this course oh don't fall off the edge that would be the end of this run instantly I'm trying to get as many points as we can but also stay as fluent as we can don't bog down there keep this thing sideways you break is my friend right now so is my left foot break I feel like we could be on a good run this could be a 200k uphill run we may be in the 200k's but I'll fall off and die oh my come on don't fail it almost there so close oh don't die so 209 uphill so we did beat his uphill score but now we got to beat that 223 downhill Ooh, this is gonna be interesting this is definitely uh definitely challenging to say the least so I think we're going to switch the camera up and uh, I wasn't even in the right drift view ooh well we're gonna run this in first person see how this works in first person downhill oh it's not gonna work <laughs> I feel like I'm so high up it's cuz I am but we're gonna try our best oh save it don't just don't die too much on the snow I don't I think the snow is actually uh, helping get this thing sideways and kind of keep it sideways but it could also be hurting me as well always tricky on that section this thing is definitely tricky on a wheel I believe uh, that man was on a controller little controller wheel battle oh my gosh so first person not working out the best but we're gonna definitely try and salvage this run not like that we're not oh this is challenging definitely a very fun challenge to uh, be issued to myself here driving in first person is definitely uh, a lot trickier in this semi for sure oh and uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do any better going uphill in first person at all so first person definitely tricky I feel like uh, I could get a very good uphill score maybe even beat his top downhill score going uphill if this thing would turn so we can give it another go here it's a big thank you to this man for issuing me a little bit of a challenge on Instagram so if you guys have a challenge or something you guys would like to challenge me to just shoot me a direct message on Instagram all of which is found in the description box below and maybe I will uh, make a little video about it and see if I can do your challenge but you got to make sure you give me some proof and don't say oh I got 10 million points on a wheel on a drift zone give me a little bit of proof about it so I can you know show it up there and you know make sure you know it's not a fish story for sure get 
There we go. That's a nice smooth line. Got a Jeep up here? Somebody's doing uh, some rock crawling. In a snowy uh, Horizon 4 map. So glad I'm done with snow in my hometown. So glad to be out of winter. Not gonna lie. Ooh. Oh no, don't lose it. I didn't, I didn't itch my head. Don't lose it, we're on a pretty decent uphill run. I got a, such a heavy foot with this truck. I need to like smooth my throttle control down a little bit. Well, I think we could actually, oh, if I wouldn't have straightened up there, I probably could have gotten higher than 223 on the uphill. So we're gonna try a downhill in third person again. See if we can't beat his 223 here in this Iron Knight. Now that I kinda got a feels for it. There we go. A little bit better through that section. Just modulating my throttle to make sure I don't over throttle this big, big behemoth of a semi like I just did there. So it doesn't really want to kick sideways when I want it to, but oh, that's definitely going to be some major loss of points there. Got my phone blowing up right now. Let me know when I'm drifting, doing semi slide stuff. I gotta go down in gear. Down the second. This thing bogs down when you're not in power. Just the grazer on that flag. Ooh, that was nice. That was a nice actual section right there. No clutch kicks there. Staying in. Staying in angle. I think we I think we got you, man. I think we got that over 223. But it did take me a few runs, but uh we were able to get it as long as I don't fail. I still gotta finish the drift zone. Oh no, as I say that, we go completely sideways. Just go through the rails. Don't care. Oh, so we are at 237. Add a few more points on to that number right now. So 262 on a bit of a shaky run in this Iron Knight. Big, definitely big thank you to uh, 22 Prelude for uh, issuing me this little challenge. Pop this thing in seventh. Definitely a lot of fun. If, uh, if you guys have any other challenges that you guys would like to see on the channel or challenges from yourself, let me know down either, I would say in the comments, but direct message me on Instagram, all of which you found in the description box below. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you aren't subscribed, please tap that subscribe button. I do appreciate the support. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and this thing is a big, beast we got that i'll see you guys next time how are we okay there it is i was wondering when the spin out was gonna come uh okay <laughs>